Hi, everybody. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I want to tell you about a guy called Nehemiah who lived two and a half thousand years ago, and he was a great leader. We're looking at leadership. Leadership is not a modern concept. OK, so leadership is a fine art and you can be leaders. You can be leaders. So I'm going to tell you a quick story about Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a guy who understood that his city, Jerusalem, had been destroyed 70 years previously. And he went around it, he looked at it, and he wanted it to be rebuilt. He couldn't do it himself. He couldn't hire a, a building firm. There weren't any building firms. He knew he needed to lead the people to rebuild this city. And so to start off, we had to, he had to convince them. And uh, I'm going to read sections of this. And it's from the Bible. So here we go. He said, um, Jerusalem is in ruins. Its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem and we'll no longer be in disgrace. And they replied, let us start rebuilding. So they began this good work. He convinced them straight away he was leading them. And this is a, a narrative of who was doing what. Listen to this. Elisha, the high priest and his fellow priests went to work and rebuilt the sheep gate. We're not talking about a little gate here. We're talking about an archway, a gatehouse. And these were guys who spent their lives reading the Bible and um, uh, burning incense and singing and stuff like that. All of a sudden, they were building big walls, this huge gate. Yes, he managed to lead them into that. Good old Nehemiah. The, the men of Jericho built the adjoining section and Zakua built the next uh, bit. And then the fish gate was rebuilt by the sons of Hassaniah. And they laid its beams and put its doors and bolts and bars in place. See, this is serious building. This is serious building. And then there's a whole list of people who are rebuilding these walls and doing incredible things. Uh, Raphael, ruler of the half district of Jerusalem. So he was a ruler. He got involved and he built the next section. Adjoining this, Jedehiah made repairs opposite his house. Short commute. Good thinking. Uh, and Hutush made repairs next to him. Malak Hajar and Hajab repaired another section and the Tower of the Ovens. Woo! And Shalom, ruler of the half district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section with the help of his daughters. Girl power is thousands of years old. Come on. They were moving great rocks and building this fantastic city wall. Anyway. What we can see in this is leadership is not a new concept. And why should you just be followers? You can be leaders. Here at Lutterworth College, we believe every young person can learn, flourish and succeed. This is what this is all about. And you know, what? it's character building, character as well as all the stuff you can learn here. But you can be the best. Go and be the best. Be the leaders of the future. You can be followers, hey, but be the leaders. Yes, do it. Start this week. Yes. Let's finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to be the best, to do our best and achieve the very best. Help us to be the leaders of the future starting this week. Be with us now and bless us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.